thank you for jumping on. For those who are going to listen later, I want to share with you this morning from my book, Bible Doctrine. I really want to encourage you to get yourself a copy. Get it on Amazon, Kindle. Contact me directly. I can get it in the mail to you. But let's start off in prayer. Father, we thank you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your blessing. Father, when our feet fall, when we stumble, when we when we slip, you are ever so kind to gently bring us back. And we cry out to you for mercy, Lord God. We cry out to you for mercy. We pray, Father, that, that we will walk holy before you, that we will walk upright before you and where we do fall and how many times we have fallen. I pray, Lord, you forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. In Jesus' name, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Amen. Okay. Oh, feels like I'm going to sneeze. Hey guys, bless you, bless you. Thank you for jumping on on Instagram. I uh, bless you there. And those on Facebook, hey Lindy Coleman, welcome. Bless you. So good to have you jump on with us. Join with us on Saturday, please do. Send me an email. I'll send you a link. We're starting a course, 12 week course on Bible doctrine. It's like, oh, uh, Bible doctrine. I promise you this is going to be good. We're going to be looking at from the doctrine of faith which i want to share with you a little bit about today taking out my book to eschatology the return of jesus anthropology the study of man did you know that man is a trinity in himself correct god made you just like he made him like he is himself his father son holy spirit and you are body soul and spirit you've got three you are three you are body your soul and you've got a spirit and even your soul is made up of three your mind, your will, and your emotions. I'm going to share all that stuff with you. Some of it is like, oh, grind. Some of it is absolutely amazing. I mean, we're going to look at the history of the Bible. From its inception, when when the Torah was given, right up to modern day manuscripts, and even the date lines. We're going to look at the date line of the church. We even look at the date line of the history of Israel. Don't miss this. Question. But let's jump on. I'm going to open up my book. I'm on page 275, so it's quite a chunk of a book. Do get yourself a copy, guys. You will be blessed. I love, I love what Charles Spurgeon writes. He says, concerning faith, this is, he said, One walking with me, observed with some emphasis, I do not believe as you do. I'm an agnostic. I love this. I really do. Oh, I said to him, that is a Greek word. Is it not? I think the Latin word is ignoramus. <laughs> you did not like that. You know what? I, I've, I've walked with people and I've spoken to people and they've said, we don't believe like you do. We, we atheist. I went like, what? It's more difficult to be an atheist than to be a believer. Well, let me rather rephrase that. It's absolutely impossible to be a non-believer. You say, Mark, there are people out there that are non-believers. It's impossible to be a non-believer. You say, how can that be? Because you have to believe to be a non-believer. You have to believe that you can non-believe. Okay. <laughs> faith, faith is the opposite of fear. Faith pleases God. Hebrews 11.6, it says like this. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So, so to even draw near come near be believe please not please i want something but but to bring blessing to you have to have faith the faith of god is far greater than the faith of man and god has got faith himself that he who began a good work in you he is faithful to complete it i love that god has got more faith than man has got faith let me let me share with you the definition of faith quickly hebrews 11 verse 1 faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen what this means literally what this means is faith is connecting is the connecting power into the spiritual realm faith is the ingredient to begin a relationship with god faith is evident of those things that are not yet visible Faith is the reality. God is Alpha and Omega. And when God speaks in the... God always speaks in the future tense. The action... 
that God, of God speaking has already happened. You know, God speaks in a completed text. Like, like I am going to do something for you. Well, for the Lord, His I am going to do something for you has, has already happened. He's done it. The Hebrew word for faith is aman, oman. Like you pronounce it like A-W hyphen M-A-N. Okay. And the root meaning of faith is the foundation on which you build something. The Greek word is pistio. Pistio, the root word for that, is where you get your faith from, pistos. And that's to believe. Now guys, I'm, I'm actually going straight out of my book, Bible Doctrine, and I'm so excited. Um, I've, received, I've received my copies from Amazon, my, my printed versions. Get onto Amazon, download it. I'm reading from page 277 now. And, and you will be blessed. There's four types of faith. And I'll show you in this. It's, it's like so, so good, guys. There's human faith, head faith. Human faith that is inherent within every human being. Every one of us have got this. It's not, it's not like super spiritual faith. It's not even spiritual faith. It's just human faith. But there is a supernatural faith of God that only comes to those who receive the good news of Jesus Christ. Human faith can only believe in what it can see, taste, hear, smell and feel. It's limited to your senses. Using natural faith, we can sit in a chair we've never sat in and you can believe that the chair is going to hold you. You can jump into a, an aeroplane. This is human faith. And you've never met the pilot and you're trusting that 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 piece of metal is going to fly in the sky that's human faith how do you how do you have that faith well you've seen the thing fly over your head you see you see somebody walking in the airport with a whole bunch of badges and a white shirt and a cap on his head and he's the pilot you don't even greet the guy you don't even know the man he could be a psychopathic no he's not He's been trained, he's been ex experted in that, and, and you go and hand in your ticket, you don't see him, he's in behind a closed door, you sit down, buckle up, captain speaking, and the airplane takes off. Natural faith. But then you've got faith for salvation. This, this faith for salvation is out there for everyone to access, but not everyone accesses it. Only those who make a decision and say, I'm taking it. God is drawing all people through the power of His Holy Spirit, through the convicting revelation of Holy Spirit. God draws people. But what happens is only those who respond to the gospel get it. Then you've got the gift of faith. Gift of faith is different to faith for salvation. Gift of faith is above and beyond. It's, it's the ability to... It's the, ability, it's the gift given by the Holy Spirit. Then you've got another level of faith. It's called God faith. God faith, my brother and sister, there's five, five times in the Bible that it says, have the faith of God. Romans 10. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This is not your faith. This is not just faith for salvation. This is God faith. Galatians 2. I live in faith. The faith which is in the Son of God. It's His faith. Another one is Philippians 3.20. But that which is through faith in Christ. Mark 11.22. Have the faith of God. It's God's faith. The importance of faith. Okay, hang on. Sorry, Hebrews 6.19 as well. Hope we have as an anchor of the soul. That is faith. That is not human faith. That is not the gift of faith. It's not even... It's faith for salvation. This is God faith. It's, it's knowing that you know that you know that He who began, He did it. He will complete it. He began that good work in you. Bless you, Alison. Thank you, Sean. Hey, Ronell, Lindy. Bless you. you. Guys on Instagram, thank you for jumping on. The importance of faith, my brothers and sisters. And I'm using, I'm going straight out of my book. It's quite a chunky book. I really recommend you get it. It covers all aspects of Bible doctrine subjects we you don't generally deal with anthropology not much spoken of in the church soterology 
not much spoken about in the church. Eschatology needs to be preached as the second coming of Jesus. Get this book. You will be blessed. You can get it on Amazon. If you have a problem downloading it, contact me, please. We'll make sure a copy gets get in, put into your hands. It is impossible, impossible to be saved without faith. There's no other way for salvation but for faith, through faith. Everything, life is attained, everything in life, it is attained through faith. You get nothing without faith. It is faith that carries you in natural realm, and it is faith which is the bridge between the now and the latter. There's five principles of faith to learn from Abraham's faith. Abraham heard the word of God. Abraham turned and repented. Abraham embraced the hope. Abraham, as I sorry, embraced the hope. Abraham did not waver in faith, and Abraham rejected. Uh, sorry, he rejected. Abraham rejoiced in the completed work even before it happened my brothers and sisters i'm sharing from from bible doctrine you will be blessed in this i want to praise for you pray for you right now thank you rose for jumping on please press that share button jump onto youtube join that jump onto instagram subscribe to my page become become a, a partner with us we encourage you in that and guys i want to pray that the lord would use you, bless you, and stir up your faith. Really, stir up your faith. Put yourself into a position of trusting God for more. Do not listen to the liar of the devil. Did God really say? Yes, God said it. Yes, God said it. He will do what he said he will do. Father, I bring my brothers and sisters before you right now, and I thank you, Lord, that you are a good God. I thank you, Lord, that your hand is upon us, that you bless us, that you keep us, that you overshadow us, that you shine upon us, and you just, you just pour out your glory upon us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, if anybody in this meeting today is battling in their faith, will you come, Lord God? Come, Lord God, and touch them in Jesus' name. <clears throat> bless you, my precious friends. Um, I'm going to put my email address up here. And you're welcome to write to me and, and just ask for prayer. And I commit to you, we will cover you in prayer. It's mark underscore fisser at me.com. There we go. And even my number. I'll put that up there. And you're welcome to contact and say, please cover us in prayer. We pray that the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord cause his countenance to rise over you. And the Lord give you peace. Amen. God bless.